Same coverage continues at 10. We have our reporters all over the Gulf Coast. Let's start with Michael Warwick live from the Fairhope Pier and Michael, the Baldwin County Sheriff and the EMA Director, telling people living near several rivers in Baldwin County, leave now. Absolutely, and we are just starting to see some of the worst conditions of Sally we've seen so far. We just moved up the street from the pier to downtown where we just got a piece of debris that was literally moments ago taken off of the street. This is just one of what Fairhope Police and Daphne Police believe to be dozens of limbs, trees, possible a lot of debris we've seen as we drove up here scattered across the roads now. This area is not under a recommended evacuation, but I tell you on the rivers, it sure is. As day turned to night, Hurricane Sally began delivering some of its worst punches yet, snapping trees in two. While rain continues to fall, Fish, Perdido, and Styx River residents urge to get to higher ground before it's too late. When flooding starts to occur, or is occurring and we have heavy rain bands going through and sustained winds reach around the 45, 55 or 45, 50 mile an hour mark. We're not going to be responding. It's going to be a shelter in place condition. The river and bay waters moving fast and while they didn't look bad this afternoon, Sally was just getting started. I think tomorrow and into Thursday is going to be our major um, when everything's really going to come into play, depending on how much rain that we get in the county. Well, you see this wind out here. It's getting to that point where it's almost enough to, enough to knock you off your feet. Uh, thankfully, a lot of this area really is in a shelter in place situation. We were down at the pier in the nine o'clock hour and you could see down the shoreline where it was a blackout. This is one of the few spots we were grateful to come to in a way that still has power so we can see out here on the streets. Byron. All right, Michael, you were at the pier at, during the nine o'clock hour. What could you tell from the bay? Was it moving any yeah. closer on shore? It didn't appear that way, and Jason alluded to that as we came on here, uh, but that's part of the reason EMA is so worried, especially when you talk about the river situation, because it may not look bad now. That does not mean you're out of the clear, because these rivers, when they rise, they rise fast. We're live reporting from downtown Fairhope tonight. Michael Warwick, Fox 10 News.